Hi, folks. Welcome to Crisco's Corner. Hi, folks. Welcome back. Robert attempts to hold up Atlanta Nail Salon leaves after being ignored. The would-be robber eventually gave up and left the salon in his silver sedan. <laughs> yeah. Now, I think I'm going to call this segment, maybe I'll get my really loud voice, Stupid Criminals of the Week. And we'll get a round of applause for that, maybe. Uh, yeah. <laughs> or maybe this. <laughs> Let's read the story really quick, and then I'll show you the actual video. Uh, you're going to laugh your behinds off. And when I see this guy's a retard, I, I mean that sincerely. What a dumbass. Let's, uh, let's read the story, and then we'll see the short video. It, it's worth waiting for, believe me. A would-be robber in Georgia. Let me get my PBS voice. A would-be robber in Georgia was forced to give up the people he was attempting to terrorize that didn't seem to care. Surveillance video from the first nail salon in Atlanta captured the business bizarre encounter with the suspect. Now, I'm not encouraging anybody that's ever involved in a robbery just to ignore it for their personal safety, but <laughs> you have to see this in order to believe it. Everybody get down! I can get the guy's voice now. Give me your money! Give me your money, this suspect in a video yells as he enters the salon. The suspect kept his hand inside a bag as he pointed around the room, making it appear though he had a weapon. Yeah, how's that go? This guy would not be bringing the potato salad to the next Menza picnic, okay? Let's, uh... However... His demands went without much response at all as customers remained seated and some not even look up. You know, you're going to see in the video how it transpires. I want you the funny part. The lady to get up and walked out, and on the bottom right of the video is the guy that works there. He's behind the register, and the phone rings and during the robbery. He answers the phone. One lady, one woman hesitantly stood up and raised her hands. The suspect took her phone as she slowly walked out the door. This moron probably kept it so they can track the phone to, to, to put him in jail. Robert eventually gave up and fled the scene. Investigators, crime stoppers, witnesses indicated he entered the salon wearing a blue hat, sunglasses, and blue jeans. Now, let's take a look at the video. Well, here's the video of this retard, and I use the word retard specifically, this dumbass walks into a salon outside of Atlanta, I believe. And you'll notice a couple of things. One, you see the people there sitting on the left. And on the right, you'll see the register there, and you'll see a man come up. As this, this moron, this mental pygmy retard, tries to rob the place. Now, you're going to see that the phone rings while the guy's robbing the place. He answers the phone. You have to see this in order to believe it. Let's check it out. Now the phone starts ringing, right? Here comes this dumbass. Everybody get there! Give me all your money! It's got the money! Give me all your money! Are you stupid or something? And they're all like, what? Now look at the bottom right. The guy answers the phone, he goes, hello? <laughs> and they're all like, now... Do they understand English? I'm sure they do to a certain extent. I know the lady on the right, you'll see what she does is comical as hell. This guy, you know, I take pride, I guess, in the fact that we have the stupidest criminals in the world. Now, I'm not a big fan of Georgia anymore, at least the Atlanta area, because it's what it's turned into. But, you know, other parts of Atlanta or, or Georgia are really good. But let's just check this out some more. Now, watch the guy on the right. As this robbery is taking place, this guy answers the phone and watch the lady, the taller lady on the right in the blue with the sandals. Yeah! Where's the money? Just gets up. Give me the money. Where's the money? What money? Everybody, give me everything. Takes your. Oh, there it goes. Yep. My brain stopped. Cell phone. Where's the money? Now you notice the guy on the right, he's gone. He answered the phone. He walked away. <laughs> Look at this retard. Look at this retard. Now, I'm sure 
you can't see if there's a weapon underneath this whatever coat or whatever he's got to hide his hand. I'm sure some slick public defender, if this moron is caught, will say, well, he really didn't use a weapon or whatever. You know what? I would like this guy to go to jail for whatever the term is in that part of Georgia for this kind of thing. And then explain to the rest of the prisoners what happened. I mean, he'd be the laughing stock of the jail. Retard. Let's watch some more. And he's like, uh, they're not cooperating. Whoop, there it goes. Yep, my brain stopped. I guess I'll just leave. Bye. Now, just for the heck of it, let's watch this thing all the way through. And now you picked up some of the subtleties, like the guy answering the phone, the people sitting in the chairs just going, what? And then the lady getting up and walking away. Well, this moron pretends to have a weapon. Let's just run it all the way through. So you get it as it, as it, as it was. What? Give me the money. Where's the money? Everybody, give me everything. Where's the money? Oh, this is great. This guy's like, what the hell? And away he goes. So there you have it, folks. There's the video of the dumbass, retarded, armed robber, or supposedly armed robbery. Now, we'll see if YouTube puts a restriction on this video because it was it was a weapon. Well, there's weapons. A guy's hand would have looked like a jean coat wrapped around it or a pair of jeans. It's probably the jacket he's going to put on in a second here. Of course, it's hotter than hell in Atlanta in July, so it's probably not a jacket, but it's amazing to me. I think it might have this as a regular segment. Stupid criminals of the week. What do you guys think? You think I should have that as a regular feature here on the channel? Let me know. And until next time, goodbye and good luck. <laughs>